And good morning, everyone. My name is Mallory, and welcome to Bethel Church Online. We may be doing church a little bit different than usual, but we are still celebrating that we can join together and worship today. So even though we are not together physically in the church building, we would still love it if you would check in on the Bethel app so we know that you're joining us today. If you are new with us this morning, first of all, welcome. We are so excited you've joined us. We would love it if you would download our Bethel app and fill out the Connect card. This would allow us to connect with you. Again, thank you so much for joining us today. If you are wanting to worship with tithes and offerings today, please feel free to use our Bethel app or website for online giving or simply mail a check to the church. Easter weekend is coming fast, everyone, and we would love it if you would join us in celebration. First, we'll be having a Good Friday service on April 10th at 6 p.m., and then of course, two days later, on April 12th, Easter Sunday at 10 a.m. online as well. Bethel, I need your help. We are working on something extra special for Easter Sunday, so we would ask if you were willing to send in a 30 to 60 second video of yourself just using your phone, sharing what God has taught you during this time and where you've seen God at work. These testimonies will be used during our Easter online service and in social media posts. So if you are willing to send us your testimony video, we would greatly appreciate it. Hi friends, I wanna encourage you to be intentional about discipleship, both relationally and personally. You know, every day I try to stop and listen for my Heavenly Father saying, Son, I'm rejoicing over you. Can you hear me singing? This is from Zephaniah 3.17. And I want to encourage you to delight in your loved ones and in your friends during this season. Send them a text, call them on the phone, or set up a video conference call that you can spend some time together. My relational tank is probably fuller than ever because I'm spending so much time on the phone and texting and in conference calls. I want my loved ones, my wife and my kids to know every day that I delight in them and that I'm glad that they're in my life. I also want to encourage you to be intentional about corporate prayer. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 20 that where two or three are gathered that he is with us. And I just know we're all feeling a sense of disconnect from the body of Christ. We're missing corporate worship on Sunday mornings, but we can still have some really neat times with one another and experience the nearness of our God as we spend time in corporate prayer, even over the phone together. I also want to encourage you to be intentional in your personal life. God gives us a great example in Genesis chapter 1 that every day he took time to step back and see what he had made was good. I want to encourage you to do the same thing. Every day, spend some time in gratitude. Take time to see what God has created for you as good and spend time drawing into the goodness of God in your life. I'm still confident of this. We're going to see the goodness of God every day. And then I also want to encourage you to renew your mind, as it talks about in Romans 12. Spend time meditating on scripture, maybe memorize a verse, or share a verse of the day with a friend. So I just wanted to take a minute and encourage you, let's celebrate the goodness of God in these days. Well, hey there, good morning, Bethel. Hey, a couple of quick CARES needs announcements for you this morning. The first is really just a reminder, if you're aware of anyone, either within Bethel or within the greater community, who could use some assistance during these days, please fill out the church and community needs form that's found on the Bethel app. Uh, we want to be able to reach out into the community and bless those in the name of Jesus who could really use some assistance during these weeks. And so if you know someone, please fill that form out or please reach out to me and let me know so that we're going to be able to respond to those needs. Second, our week to serve at the Gifts Homeless Shelter is still coming up. It's still happening. It's going to be the week of April 26th. And Although they can't take in additional volunteers right now, we are still going to provide food for breakfast and lunches for them. We are still going to provide hot meals for them each day of the week. And so if you can head to the Bethel app, find the form to sign up uh, to provide a meal one day of the week uh, in the evenings or to donate some food items, that they'll use for their breakfast and lunches, that would be much appreciated. Susan Jacobson is gonna organize gathering all of your donations and taking it all at once. Uh, and if you have any questions, you can reach out to her or you can reach out to me, but let's still be the hands and feet of Jesus to the Gifts Homeless Shelter the week of April 26th. And those are all of our announcements for today, Bethel. Thank you so much for joining us. We truly do appreciate each and every one of you. Next up is Pastor Drew, and we believe that God has something to say specifically to you in today's message. And it's our prayer that you leave encouraged and closer to God than ever before. God bless.